हेलो गाइस आई एम शहजाद अहमद एंड वेलकम इलेक्शन नंबर 16 सो इट्स टाइम टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डेटाबेस वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द लाइब्रेरीज इन रिलेटेड लेक्चर्स बट फॉर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ डेटाबेस सो वी कैन यूज इट इन आवर प्रोजेक्ट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्फिगर आवर डेटाबेस इन कोडिंग नाइटर 4 ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कमेंट दिस वन कॉल द कोड सो यू कैन इजीली गेट द कोड मेक श्योर वी write every code related with our helpers in my helpers.php file so this is the controller available in my controllers section so app and the controller so this is the control okay now uh open your php my admin local hosts php my admin create a database If you are not familiar with the PHP My Admin, you can also use the tool uh, SQL Log or Data Grid or any tool you are using. Okay, we have discussed that I am going to use the Data Grid in this series because Data Grid is a tool uh, to manage our database. Okay, now you, uh, I can also create the database from my tool, but this is the most persons or most students very knows very well about the php my admin so that's why i'm creating the database using this tool okay now i am saying ci4 okay you can also specify the character set now it's a by default i am saying ci4 we have created the ci4 now i need to create a table so i can retrieve the table while working on database so first of all we need to configure our database in coding nighter 4 so i have created the database now go to your application in the config folder as you can see this is your config folder this is the database.php class or database.php file make sure this is a class and now we have the default group as you can see it's a default that means default connection okay now here as you can see we have the array it's associative array and make sure it's a public okay now we need to use the username it's a root because by default we are now using the local host environment so uh, we have the root is the username and the password is empty we have create we have just created the ci4 so that's why i'm saying ci4 now go to the page refresh the page so you can see working fine if i write the wrong database it's not currently giving you the error but when you retrieve the data from the database or when you connect the data from your uh, we will discuss about it but for now i am using the right database now we have successfully connected with our database so this is the one way to connect our database the second way is the env file so in the root of your project we have the env file so as you can see in the env file we have the database and as you can see you can also set your database here but i'm not setting the database here i'm we have i'm using the database.php file to connect the database okay now so now as you can see this is the failure so you can specify the failovers for the situations when the connections cannot connect For some reasons, so as you can see, this is your main database. For some reason, uh, for suppose if your server is working fine, but your database is not connected with your application, so what happens? So you can specify the failover. Here, or you can just. write the name of this as a fail 
sorry, not this. Default. Okay, now you can define the associative array or the setting here like this in case of failure or you can also define the database setting here so copy all the things like this and paste here like this so it's totally dependent upon you but in the failover you can specify here so this is the test environment you have to now you have default group is default so this is a default if you are using this test connection you can also specify the test so it's totally different okay now some database or i'm talking about the pdo i'm talking about the oracle odbc so these are the database uh, and uh, they might require a full dns string to be provided how how can you provide you can also specify the dns so where is the dns okay you can also specify the dns here like pgs sql and your host like this sorry pgs sql and the host and the full path of your and some text like this you can also specify but for now uh, it's fine we are using the uh, mysql so that's why we don't need to define our dns setting okay now we are using this one and how can you know that your connection is working fine or not okay now as you can see we have the database but i'm now going to create the tables so i'm opening the data grid so data grid is a tool and uh, we can manage our database using this tool okay now click on this plus button data source and I'm selecting the MySQL. We have root is the username, password is empty. We have just created the CI4. It's a database. Test connection. It's fine. Apply. Okay. So now as you can see, this is the database. This is the database. So it's schema and this is the database. Now I right click new and table i'm going to create the table the name of the table is the students column names are i'm saying sid that means student id it's an integer not null it's auto increment and also a primary key and i'm saying s name that means student name and it's a wash our field and i'm saying it's a 200 okay now uh, you can also specify uh, 50 10 it's probably dependent upon you i'm saying it's not null field make sure it's required that means and i'm saying subjects not null also it's a wash our field and i'm saying 200 it's not null field now i'm saying uh, the student age what is the age of the student it's an integer field and also it's not null okay it, it's not fake now i'm saying uh, the date as date date and time it's also let's execute this one we have just created the fields now fine so we have created the database we have created a table and we have con we have connected with our coding nighter 4 or the coding nighter applications 
In the next lecture, we are going to retrieve some data from this table so you can easily understand how can you retrieve or how can you uh, how can you create the connection with your database so thank you for watching